Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to discuss how you can write, draw, annotate, etc. over your desktop screen. Now this might seem unnecessary because you have lots of uh, note-taking apps and many presentation software like uh, PowerPoint also allow you to write over your slides both in normal and presentation view. However, when your presentation contains something that is not either of these things, for example, say a website page, you don't have any easy way to take quick notes over the screen. So that's what we are going to discuss. We are going to suggest some apps for that. So the one I mainly recommend is called PP Ink. Let's start it up. You'll see a small pen-like sign here and when you click on it, a bar will pop up. There's a bunch of pens in here, one highlighter, options to change the pen's width, some extra tools for shapes. You can even change the pen colors from the options, but for now I'm just going to go with what we have. So you can just choose a pen and start writing. Whenever you want to do something other than writing, you'll have to change to the cursor tool. Here you can see it's called mouse pointer. Now we can just interact with our website. Once we are ready to go back to writing, we'll just have to choose a pen again. As soon as we choose uh, the pen, the cursor will go back to being a dot. If you want, it can be something else. We'll show that in the later part of the video. Let's try out the highlighter this time. And because I don't want it to be as thin, let's change the pen width. This will probably look better on type text. The middle part of the bar with a bunch of tools is basically the part where you can choose whether you want to handwrite which is what we are doing, or if you want to use different types of shapes. So let's try out some shapes this time. The line width can be changed for the shapes too. If you don't like something you did, you can either click undo or press Ctrl Z. If you want to temporarily hide everything you have done on the screen, you can click the I button at the bottom at the right to hide everything. This will not clear your content, simply hide them for temporarily so you can have a clean screen. Also, if you click the camera button, the program will take a screenshot of everything you've done so far and then clear the board. So you will get a PNG or JPG file. However, you will lose everything on the screen. So use it wisely. Lastly, if you want to change the options for this program, you'll have to go to the tray at the bottom right, right click and choose options. In the first tab, we can choose our cursor to be a arrow instead of a pen tip. And by arrow, I mean a pretty big arrow. We can also change the colors of different pens. We can assign hotkeys if you uh, like using a particular option pretty often. You can see how the cursor is such a big arrow now instead of a small pen tip. This can be useful when you're demonstrating uh, concepts by pointing at them. One last thing before we finish. If you click the bin button at the very right, all your content will be deleted. Also, if instead of clearing the screen, you just want to hide the toolbar, then click the button at the very left. You can reopen it easily the same way. Also, this program will work no matter what software you're running. It's not like it will only work in browser. So you can see that I have some codes uh, in, in Notepad. So here also I can label things just the same way I did before. Now let's talk about the alternatives to this. Epic Pen is a software that is probably much more popular than the PP Link. Its basic options are bas uh, more or less the same as uh, PP Link. Actually, it has a few more extra things. However, the program has a free and paid version, and the go good options are all in the paid version. Many options that are free in PP Link are actually paid in Epic Pen. If you are not using all of uh, PP Ink's options, you could also use G Ink, which is basically an earlier version of it. For G Link, you have to start it up by clicking on the button on the tray. You can see that the bar looks more or less the same, uh, just uh, the pen uh, doesn't have different sizes and the uh, shape options aren't here. But in, just in case people think it doesn't work for you, you could try this one. Another one worth mentioning is Point of Fix, which is originally a German program, but it has an English translation. It offers most of people Link's capabilities and a few extra ones. However, it does not have the hide option, which uh, is a big no for me. 
However, anyone who does not have that issue like me are free to use it. It also has a few more extra options compared to VP Link, like using custom uh, background type text, tick signs and cross signs, and a pretty cool zoom feature. Okay, so we are almost done. The last program I want to mention is called Zoom It. It's actually a program by Microsoft. It has much less options compared to the rest. For example, your draw tool does not have anything. You just can draw one way and that's it. The zoom option is kind of cool. You can also set a break timer for your students, which I find pretty useful. That ends my list of top 5 apps for writing on your desktop screen. You can find the links in the descriptions as well. So that's it. Uh, I hope this video has been useful to some of you and I hope you will be able to make your presentations better by using these tools. So goodbye and have a nice day.